So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and actually upload or offload your iPhone applications. Now, doing this is actually very basic. The very first thing you're going to want to do, though, is you want to hop inside of your settings application. Now, when you do that, what you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your iPhone storage. So you can go and click on your general, app, uh, you know, general icon right there, and you want to go and click on iPhone storage, which is right here. Now, you're going to see all these different apps and things that load up. It may take a minute or two for it to load up completely. Probably should have used a different phone to do it. But what you're going to basically see once this thing fully loads up is you're going to basically be able to see your all your applications kind of come up here and you're also going to be able to see an offload button that kind of shows up you know in the center of it so if i go and click here again let's see if it loads up like i said it could take a minute i'll go ahead and kind of load it in a different way so essentially when you see the application within this panel that you want to go ahead and offload you can basically scroll through as you normally would you want to click on that specific application that's going to you know come up in this different panel so here we go so let's say I want to offload notes. We'll just use a different one, for example. Let's say YouTube Studio. I want to go ahead and offload. Well, what I can always do is I can go and find that application, and I can go ahead and offload it by clicking on this app, and there's going to be an offload button right here. All I'm going to have to do is go ahead and click on this little offload app button, and what's going to happen here is this application will go ahead and be offloaded from my you know, you know know phone right here in the cloud, basically. So that's basically how it works. Then after what I can do is I can just go ahead and go back and then I can download it or re-download from the app store. But that's basically how it's done. Click on offload app. You can offload as many apps as you want to, I think, within your limit. But that's pretty much how it goes. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.